<clears throat> Hello, everyone, and I am with a bear. Hi, a bear. Hi. <laughs> and Troy. Hello. And today we are going to have a conversation about something called X Men. Uh, I facilitate a beautiful class which is about X Men, and it's called Undiscovered Possibility. And if you're watching this, you are the undiscovered possibility. A lot of people don't know what this class is about. So myself, Abir and Troy are going to have a conversation today and talk to you about, first of all, what it's like to be an X-Men and then what were the struggles that we had and what has changed for us since using the tools of access consciousness and really being aware of X-Men and how they function. So we hope this conversation contributes to you. And yeah, so where I'd like to start with, um, Troy, is that you're autistic, yep. uh, ADD, OCD. And um, before we came on with a bear, we were just talking about like, what were your challenges coming into a world that you're supposed to be a certain way? Projections and expectations are devastating for X-Men because they actually annihilate uh, the beauty that they are. So talk to us about like, what were your challenges and what changed for you? So, yeah, I was just like, when we start the conversation, there's a lot of like things like start to pinging me. And actually one of them was like, when I'm like around my family, like sometimes they don't acknowledge like how autistic I am. And actually like they ask me something and I just like look at the space. I'm just like, I'm like this. And they actually get like sometimes annoyed. Like when I just like don't answer, I, I'm just like, okay and like continue to my life and like one of the things for me like with x-men class is just allow me to see like how different i am and actually like allow me to like give the tools to actually function around people like with ease like other than that like i'm i can go like oh like everybody is like me but it's actually they are not and when i acknowledge that and actually see the difference i am I can like choose space from there and it just like create a lot of space a lot of ease and like for me it's like total relaxation so that's very beautiful and a lot of x-men haven't been told that their space um x-men function from no separation and what they function from oneness with energy so for them separation and for me a lot of things didn't make sense to me i didn't understand what people would be talking about so um, I'm a ADD, OCD, um, I have a mild form of autism, extremely sound sensitive, it, it, like um, sounds and vibrations really impact me and I require a lot of peace and a lot of space. So if I'm around people that are continuously thinking or have very fixed points of views, I, I didn't know how much it impacted me until I did. And now I know how I function. I require a lot of space, I require a lot of peace. And I have tools now to be aware of people's fixed points of views and how they might see the world different to how I see it. I, we are born without judgment. In other words, right and wrong doesn't make sense to us or good or bad. And we always look at what's available and how much, and also we're very much in communion with the earth. So for me, what has changed dramatically, my point of view is there is something radically wrong with me. Um, my, I, I was told my brain was wired incorrectly. Um, and it was, uh, you know, I didn't have judgment and it confuses people when you don't have a judgment and you don't have a point of view. And so the beauty, for me, the beauty of who I am was literally collapsed and the beauty went away when you try to fit yourself into getting it all right which was one of my my coping mechanisms with, with being around people that do form and structure and this is the way you should be and how you should behave and how you should learn. Um, and in school, I was told uh, later in my later years, I wasn't smart enough to go to college when I was, but I just learned different. OK, so a beer, I'd love to know what it's like for you. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, like for the longest time, I resisted uh, acknowledging that I'm X-Men. Uh, but when I did, and I started using these tools, it, it started to create so much ease for me. Like, I'll give you a simple example. Like, I'm so aware of judgment, okay? And 
it it really was not easy for me to kind of be so aware of them and um, to be around them. Like I couldn't receive those judgments, and that made me so uncomfortable to be around people because, like, I was aware of every single judgment they had about themselves, about me, yep. about my life, and I would just prefer not to. So, like, especially after lockdown got over and we started going into these big groups again. I didn't know how to be myself. I was just yeah. like, why am I so uncomfortable? Why am I so uncomfortable? You know, until I realized that, oh, this is what I was aware of. And uh, and so this is about judgment. And then the other thing I struggled with and made myself wrong for a lot was, um, you know, how, how many things I was juggling at the same time. And, um, <laughs> just like you know I had to have like five and I'd be like my god I have like taken so many things on my plate and I have so many unfinished projects but then when I looked at it at the end I was just like how did I accomplish so much like I have managed to close so many projects in such a short period of time that like it but I made myself wrong during that entire duration you know until I like started using these tools and I was just like really like what if everything that was wrong about me is actually a strongness that I wasn't kind of willing to look at at all and I could see how you were made I could see how you could be made wrong because working I'm working with you now and I see how fast you are and how you see all the parts and pieces to make things one of the things with x-men is they see all the components that makes things something greater um, and they'll see what's missing and you have this massive capacity. So when other people don't see it, we'll see it clearly like, like yeah. it's not going to work. Like, like we'll see it like, huh, this ain't going to work. And, and so for us, it can be very confusing when other people don't see it. And one of the things you said, which really touched me is, um, I had a lot of overwhelm. Um, I can't deal with being around people. I can't deal with the world. I struggled with being in the world also. I had PTSD, I had anxiety. And I would literally be like, ah, I can't handle And with the tools of access consciousness, I have now learned that um, I have to learn to receive that how different I am and how different I function and how what someone says and what they're energetically delivering isn't the same thing. So for me, I came from massive confusion and this sense of being lost into knowing that and continuously evolving how different I am. Um, I met with someone today and she has a son who's um, dyslexic and dyspraxia. And she told me that he's a wizard with technology, but he wasn't educated to recognize and use his abilities um, to generate his life. And one of the things that I really am in a demand for is that you have kids, I have three X-Men children myself, that we support these children, including myself. I'm, I'm a, a big fish, we call X-Men fish, because if you teach a fish to climb a tree, he'll spend his whole life believing that he's stupid. So this is where we have to recognize that we function differently, we function energetically, we learn in pictures. And for me, I have to read things um, to, re to receive, you know, I, I, I function in images and pictures. So this is where we look at things very different. And instead of, if you're teaching me something, don't give me part of, you have to give me the whole thing. So I have to see how it all works together. So we would love the access point of view is that every disability is a massive ability with the capacity to create with the earth and with the future. And in in our world for the growth and the expansion and the beauty of X-Men to be honored, we require these tools and the three of us are extremely passionate and active in getting the tools out. Yeah. Hmm. I'm yeah. so glad that you're coming to Dubai for this class. Um, <laughs> you know, because like X-Men, X-Men, X-Men was like so loud in my world and like everything I was like, you know, going through with my son, like, I can't help but acknowledge that I have to deal with him differently, you know, I cannot expect him to be, like, perfect, and, you know, like, all other kids are expected to be, exactly, which is why 
I was just like, when you reached out to me, I was so grateful. I was like, A, we have this class and like, oh my God. Um, so I can't wait to kind of share this um, with everybody that can get into this class and what a gift. Yeah, and it, oh, you're so welcome. And it will, as a parent, I genuinely don't know how I parented without these tools. I managed <laughs> in some way. Um, and since I've had these tools, um, my children's lives have expanded in ways that I can't even put into words. And they will make your relationships as a parent with children with ADD, autism, OCD, there is nothing wrong with the children, me included, because we don't learn the way the rest of the world does. Um, we pick up things in a different manner. And for me, uh, this allows you to recognize how your children, family members, you function. And the beautiful thing is you start to be seen as you, who you are. And that's to be seen as the beauty that X-Men are, because they're such caring wondrous beings yeah we invite you yeah yeah come join us yeah. bye <laughs> thank you